Hi everybody, I hope you're all well and thank you again to everyone who supports the channel. I really, really appreciate that. I just want to talk about some, a lot of people have been asking me to go a bit more in depth into the sparring that I had over the, over the years because I sparred with a lot, of the, a lot of the top fighters. I sparred, I think I was in the ring with six people that fought or won the world heavyweight title. So you had, well I fought Anthony Joshua and James Tony, and I sparred with Tyson Fury, Derek Chisora, Matt Skelton, uh, Michael Spott. I sparred Mark Potter, but only like a tip tap years and years back. Julius Francis, Danny Williams. Uh, but I'm gonna go into the Derek Chisora spa, cause that was quite an interesting one. Uh, this was when Derek was at, he'd had about seven or eight pro fights. I'd had about six or seven, but I'd been pro a lot, lot longer than Derek, so I was a lot more experienced. But he was like the up and coming big name that everyone uh, was talking about. And he came over to St. Albans and we sparred four times, four times. And uh, I mean, a lot of people say you, you can't judge from sparring you you can you can get a good idea sometimes from sparring about, about how well you do in a fight certain spars give you a, a good idea and the spars i had with chisora i i was very confident that if i'd have fought him at that time i would have beaten him because i think i knew i'd got into his head uh, and, and I, I put pressure on him um, a lot of people watched the spars actually joe smythe was there and a few others and uh I'll just put the pressure on Chisora from the very first bell uh, and just, yeah, put it on him, which is in professional sparring, uh, you don't go light, you don't go light, you, you, I treated it almost, almost like a fight, but if you, if you caught and hurt the other fella, you wouldn't finish him off, you'd stop and, uh, so I treated it like a fight a lot of the time because you're going up against, a lot of the people I was going up against were European level and, and some were world level, so, yeah, you got your work cut out. But against Chisora, I uh, put it on him. And the fourth time we sparred, he actually um, he actually fell on the floor in the first round. And um, uh, I think he said he'd hurt his hand. He fell on the floor and then he went home after the first round. I, a lot of people watching said he didn't fancy the spa, um, which is surprising really, considering how tough and how game he's gone on to become, he's one of the toughest and gamest out there. Um, in that particular, at that time though, maybe he hadn't fully uh, gained his confidence or his strength or something, I don't know. But I really felt like I had his number and I was dying to get a fight with him. I was dying to fight him at that time. Um, it just never happened, it never happened, which was a shame. Um, like I said before, I sparred Tyson Fury. I hadn't even trained when I sparred Tyson the first time. I got off my set E after one year not even doing any training. And I went out to Manchester the following day and sparred Tyson, just, just me on my own. Tyson picked me up from the train station. I sparred him on the caravan site. Uh, me, me, Tyson, his brother Shane. That's done four rounds. And um, yeah, I couldn't even land. I landed one punch on Tyson. Uh, so, you can get a good idea of people in sparring. I sparred Joe, I'll tell you what, Joe Smythe, I had trouble with the lighter fighters in sparring. You know, some of the lighter ones, uh, because they're so fast, like Joe Smythe peppered me with shots and cut me. Joe Smythe was only about 12 and a half stone. I think I was 18 stone, but I wasn't very sharp at that point. I wasn't really sparring a lot, so I was rusty, but Joe Smythe was all over me. Uh, Sam Sexton, he was all over me as well. Once again, though, I, I was rusty. <laughs> a lot of the times I sparred, I hadn't really took my training that seriously. And uh, I mean, I've gone and sparred with Matt Skelton when I've been up all night, uh, up all weekend, drinking. And then I go down on a Monday morning and do six rounds with Skelton and, and proper, have some proper good wars with Skelton. And uh, I've got a video on my channel about the, the Skelton sparring. I've got some footage as well. So I always used to go down there and uh, no matter, even if I'd been drinking at the weekend, I'd go and spar. That's why I'm surprised that all these people that they need, need months and months and months to train for these fights. Um, you can get out and you can go and do it. You can go and do it. You don't need to have months and months and months. I mean, a world, a world title fight, you train for two or three, three months. You can do it in two months. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah. I've got out of bed, I've got out of bed 
totally unfit and gone and sparred top pros the following day. Um, who else did I spar back in the day? Uh, Michael Sprott I had some good ones with. Michael Sprott, he caught me with a good shot, rocked, uh, not rocked me, but I went blank and he landed another combination on me, but I got him as well. John McDermott, I've got a video of me and John McDermott and I broke two of John's ribs as well, but he got me back the following time we sparred with big right hand. Um, I mean, the, spar the sparring was always tougher than the fight for me. All, all my, like when you're going in with, with that level of fighters in your sparring, and your opponent is not that level. Apart from when I fought AJ and James Tony, normally my opponents weren't the level of my sparring partners. So the fight is normally easier. Um, what a sort of injury. I didn't get any injuries in sparring. Uh, might have had a broken rib from Tom Little. Me and Tom Little used to spar quite a lot. I think he gave me a broken rib. Uh, I've never had a broken nose. I've never had a broken nose in all, in all, in ever. Uh, <laughs> touch wood, if there's any wood around. Uh, on all, all the street fights and all the boxing, no broken nose. Um, I've mentioned before I had a broken jaw with a knuckle duster. Uh, that's different. I had, the, I had a broken eye socket from AJ. Uh, that's it though. I've had a couple of bloody noses, but nothing. No one ever broke it. But um, I used to, I used to love the sparring because it was, um, to me, the most integral part of training. It's the most, re it's the nearest you're going to get to a fight. And um, yeah, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. And uh, to me, the harder the sparring, the better it was. The tougher it was, the better it was. It prepares you more for the fight. And um, now that I'm training again, and I'm feeling fit and I'm feeling energetic, um, I'm gonna obviously hope to get some spar sparring with some top, well, some ex-pros or some current pros. See how I hold up now. Need a bit more weight to come off, but um, yeah, had some great spars over the years. Going back, all the way back to 2000, uh, yeah, it was really good. Learned so much from, from those top level fighters. But yeah, I hope you're all well anyway, and I uh, hope you're having a good weekend. And thank you for all the support. Catch up soon.